Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and in this Level 3 Circular Motion video, we're going to be talking about gravity. And the reason we're going to be going a bit more in-depth into gravity is that in a video or two, we're going to start looking at um, satellite motion as part of circular motion. And we need a, a better model, a better um, calculation of gravity than we've been using before. So we're going to look at the formula, and then we're going to be finding our little g. We'll explain what that is in the video. So Newton's law of gravity um, that you've been using up until this point is Fg, the force of gravity, is equal to mass times um, little g, which is your gravitational field strength, which on Earth is, is 9.8 or 9.81. We've been using this here. Now this is just an approximation, which means it's a simplification of real life. The reality is that um, the formula we're going to use is, is slightly more complicated and more accurate. And that formula is the force of gravity is equal to big G times a mass times another mass divided by R square. So what does that all mean? So just imagine you're standing on the planet of Earth, our planet Earth down there. Um, the values you put into this, if you wanted to work out the force of gravity on you, is little m is your mass, big M is the mass of the Earth, G and this is a capital G, so that's different than the 9.8 you've been using um, so far, is, a, is called the Universal Gravitational Constant. Um, it's given to you. The number is 6.67 by 10 to the minus 11. It's a very small number, because it turns out, when you think hard about it, gravity is actually very weak. Um, it takes a whole planet's worth of gravity to hold us here. So gravity is very weak, and this capital G... Um, universal gravitational constant and r that we put in the formula is the distance from center of mass to center of mass so basically the distance from the center of the earth to you so one of the things that um, likes to be done with these formulas is equating this formula you're learning this year compared to the uh, the easier formula you learned before so the difference in those two one of the big ones that students get confused is the capital G in the um, top formula there is gravitational, a uh, universal gravitational constant, whereas the little g, 9.81, is um, gravitational field strength. Now we can equate these formulas because they're both the formula for the force of gravity, so you just set one equal to the other. Then you can do a bit of um, rearranging, a bit of simplification. The first is that the m's on both sides, little m's on both sides cancel out. There's an m on both sides, so you can just divide the whole thing by little m. And you're left with gravitational uh, field strength, little g, is equal to big G m over r squared. You could calculate that for Earth, for example. And so this big G, remember, is 6.67 by 10 to the minus 11. The 5.97 is um, the Earth's mass and divided by 6.37 by 10 to the 6, that's the Earth's radius. And you put all those numbers in your calculator, you get out 9.81. So if we were on a different planet, if we were on Mars, for example, it would have a different Mars mass, and it would have a different Mars radius, and then that's how you'd work out the gravitational field strength of Mars. If you're on the Moon, for example, you put in the Moon's mass and the Moon's radius, and you get that's how you get the um, gravitational field strength for the Moon. So this is where this 9.8 came from in the first place.